Location. Location. Copy. Ah, there he goes. NVDA talking again. Welcome. Welcome to the second lesson of NVDA. I'm sure all of you were looking forward to it. That's why I decided to actually launch it a bit earlier. I usually would do it on a Tuesday and I'm on, a, on a Thursday or a Friday, the JAWS lesson. But I decided to launch the NVDA lesson earlier because you folks were quite um, zealous there and some of the people asking me to please uh, post another one. So um, today I want to talk about two topics here. The first one being the NVDA modifier key. On a laptop, it would be the caps lock key. And on a desktop, it would be the insert of a, uh, the number zero on the numeric keypad. On my laptop, the caps lock and the insert key, the number zero on the, number, uh, on the numpad, they are both assigned as NVDA, NVDA modifier keys. Okay, so what is an NVDA modifier key? It's a key that is used in conjunction with another key to actually make NVDA do a specific function. Now, the NVDA modifier key cannot be used on its own. If you use it on its own, nothing will happen. But if you use it in conjunction with another key, let's do that. Let's press NVDA and I'm using the insert Key, the num the big zero as I always call it on, on my numpad here. I will use that key now and I will press the F12 key. 1318. NVDA says the time. Let's do it while pressing the numpad. Or the excuse me, let's do it while, while pressing the caps lock. 1319. So you see both both work the caps lock and the big zero. Okay, so when I press it twice, the F12 key and the NVDA modifier key, I, I hold the NVDA modifier key in, so I don't hold it and release it. I just hold it in and I press F12 twice in rapid succession. 1319. That's too slow. Let's do it a bit faster. Monday, 24th, April 2023. Ah, the NVDA says the date. So, if you have to use the NVDA modifier key <clears throat> to um, press a keystroke twice or three times, such as then, you know, you would then hold the key in and press the other keystroke like F12 once or twice. And the same will work if I would use the caps lock, it would also then do the same function. The second thing I want to quickly speak to you about is how to stop speech. Now, there's a difference between stopping speech and pausing speech. So, I'm going to use my home button uh, to go to the top of my, uh, of my desktop list. Recycle bin one of 27 contains the files and folders that you have deleted. Tool tip. Ah, so there you heard a number of things that NVDA said, a whole string. I'm going to use that as an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm firstly going to let it read that again. And I'm going to press the control key in the middle of what NVDA says. Let's try it. Recycle bin one of 27 contains location. So I pressed the control key and NVDA kept quiet. Lo so location. what is the difference then? What what happened there? Recycle bin one of 27. I am, um, excuse me there. I just, um, NVDA just started chattering again. Um, I pressed the control key. Now what happens when, when I press the control key? Then NVDA physically stops speaking. It does not pause the speech. It halts. It physically stops the speech. And then, and then you can't carry on 
in the middle. But when you press the shift key, let me do the example, then you can stop NVDA and when you press the shift key again, NVDA will simply start reading from the place where it actually left off. Let's try. Recycle bin one of 20. Yeah, I stopped it. Location, copy floppy. C, program files. X86. Yes. Okay, sticky keys was on Nobody. there. Let's let's just let's try something else. Let me go to Windows Explorer. Let's wait. Actually, actually, let me just do this. This PC. Let's go to Windows Explorer. And I'm going to my drive. Go space free. Two hundred eighty-two. Yeah, that's a wonderful example. So let 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 me do this. NVIDIA is going to read a number of things to you. I will press the control key in the I middle. Drive. C, row and column two, two of three, space. There it goes. I press the control key. I'm going to press the control key again. Nothing happens. So the speech has been, speech has been stopped there. But when I use the shift key. My drive, C, row and column. Now I press the, now I'm going to press the shift again. Two, two of three. Space. You see, so NVDA stops right where it left off, and Unknown. it basically just continues um, from, in a, from from where it left off. So that's the difference between the in, between stopping speech with control, and then pausing speech with shift. Thank you very much for joining me um, today. Um, it was wonderful sharing some more knowledge with you folks. See you speak to you or I hope you, you listen when the JAWS lesson um, is given in a few days time.